Hello people. This is a special announcement to all you people out there. Hey to you, you non-educational people. Yes, Signorino, we are going to teach you the four things you didn't know about Halloween and things about things that will bump, make you go bump in the night or something like that. I don't care. I don't want to talk about this. Fact number one, if you are not a very big fan of The Walking Dead or anything involving the undead, you wouldn't want to go to this country. It is called Mexico, and if you do want to go to this country, you might want to try and not do it on Halloween, because on that day, they celebrate a holiday called the ha Celebrate the Dead. It is a holiday celebrating everything and anything about skulls, skeletons, and all cool, cool stuff, but mostly... It's all about, it's mostly all about celebrating loved ones, even ones that you not might not love, but you have to do it every Halloween. And so, this is fact number one. Rob Davis has fact number two. Fact number two! There was actually a disease in England called the Black Death, involving these disgusting little rodents that carried a flea, but luckily... These days we have anaesthetic and drugs that will help stop the virus. And to this very day, no one has, doesn't even remember the Black Death. But back then, it was a real thing. You know, there is actually a fear involving bats. It is called Batophobia. But before it was called Batophobia, millions of people read a book called Count Dracula. But sadly to say to all you people out there that believe that there's a man that can turn into a bat and suck your blood, sadly, it doesn't exist. The truth is that that book really caused all millions of people to think bats are actually suck blood monsters. But the truth is there are, there are actually bats that don't eat human blood or let's just say drink. Sure, there might be one particular bat called the blood sucker bat. But there are some other bats out there, like the fruit bat and the regular bat that eats bugs. There's even a bat. There's even a, there's even a bat that actually could tell the difference between a poisonous frog to a regular frog just by listening to it. Oh, what? Now you're probably thinking that you're a bit of a Freddy Kettle because of bats. I'm the last one, and if you're wondering why I haven't got a prop, my prop's on my leg, biting it. People actually believed that these things existed, but luckily with the magic of TV and camera work, we can actually make this thing actually attack me. But in real life, right now on your sofa, trolls, witches, ghosts, zombies, and any other thing you believe on TV that looks realistic, ain't realistic, pal. I hope you enjoyed this small segment. It's not much of a video, but it might help you on your college school if you might want, if you ever have anything on a piece of paper or if you ever see a ghost or a monster or anything you might think that you might think it's real but actually it could be a dream or just some stupid drink you just got at the pub from all of us from Rob Davis this is the toy Rob Davis and Senor No and friends thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching.